Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here on this, I think it's Tuesday. Stand by. Yes, April 23rd, 2024, on a Tuesday. As you can see, I had to moist, you know, put some moisture type something on my lips. You know, because it's getting very, very dry over here. Um, and, you know, but my skin is still performing uh, better than I thought it would, you know. And I think it's the, um, just listening, somebody's saying something outside. Um, yeah, the dry heat, I love it. It, 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 it. You know, I sleep better. Um, I notice... Or, or rest better. I rest better. Um, you know, the breathing situation is uh, a little different for all of us uh, because of the, the level of CO2 in the air, and I talked about that and how human beings are contributing to that. But anyway, this video is about uh, pointing out someone that, that came forward recently. I was listening to this person talk, and I want to I want to uh, acknowledge this person. They know who they are. They will know who they are once I... Uh, finish um, kind of describing the situation about what she's doing and like I said it's courageous um, and um, uh, I'm kind of happy because this is a young person per se they're young and you know they, they well they they appeal to the world this person appeals to the world um, she's non-black by the way so let's let's make that clear but I still want to acknowledge this person because of what this person has done for the culture of humanity. How about that? A, a lot of people have, but a lot of people are not courageous like this person. This person is still young. Fantastic. Fantastic. Because it makes sense to me that, you know, people are my age. When I say my age, I'm over 40. I told you, 59, to be, to be clear, specific. You know, I'm 59 years old, and I said um, that it's so important that those that are in their 40s and below, you know, get a grip on life. Get a grip, because otherwise you are not going to survive the upcoming events, whatever they may be, whether it's literal, figuratively, or metaphorically, right? Um, so I put out, I said, I asked a question some time ago, I put out a video uh, a while ago, and I said, um, you know, it's about understanding. Everything is about understanding people. You have to understand people. You have to understand human beings and stop using technology to do that for you because you're lazy, you know, and you know who you are. They use l technology for everything to invade privacy, to be listening to conversations, to be spying on people, to have satellites all over the world you know, polluting the universe. Okay. But I put out a video and I said, and, and, and this, hopefully this will make sense to people why, why I'm doing what I'm doing. Okay. Because you have to walk the talk and you have to have walked in those shoes in order to understand, okay, what's really, really going on. And that's hard to do if you are, for example, non-black. If you're non-black, you're not going to understand the black experience, no matter what you say. You can have compassion, yes, and understanding, yes, absolutely. That's 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 the that's all you need. If you have compassion and understanding for people, we can we can live together and be together, and be cohesive and understanding and blah blah blah, and we can work together. But then to go out and pretend you know something about somebody and you don't. Okay, that's where we're running into problems. I said that with with uh, non-biological females interfering with biological females, okay? Or biological males interfering with biological females. And the list goes on and on and on and on. Okay, so as, we, as, as it has been uncovered, and it has, a lot of black culture has been hidden or whitewashed. That is evidence, and there is proof of that, okay? And I saw a uh, comment from someone that was non-black uh, during Black History Month, and I thought, you know, people are 
a lot of people are waking up, no matter how much people are attempting to suppress them. She said um, something to this effect. You know, this is the this is probably the only. She said something to the effect that this time around, during quote unquote Black History Month, she was so fascinated at the amount of information she discovered or was relayed to her, what she was allowed to uh, peer in on or allowed to know. In other words, she had no idea about the black culture at all, except from what was taught in school, which was not taught at all. It was in, in our schools, more so our American schools, since the I say either in, it started in the, you know, it has been started for a while, but I, I think the effects didn't come in until like the 70s or whenever this segregation movement took place where we were forced, forced to go into certain neighborhoods that did not want us and, be, and, and were told that our communities could not teach our own children. Okay, a lot of people was getting all worked up about it and like, yeah, you know, saying that people are complaining and did, see, sep, um, let me see, let me find find out when uh, when this all this this took place. Okay, it's the ra racial segregation in the United States. Okay, because it started in the United States. So when we were for, when when uh, black culture was forced forced. Okay, to leave their black communities, which were properly uh, providing for them. We had the uh, resources there. Um, so it started, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out when it started, but it, it you know, separation of whites and non-whites. So, and you know, who knows if this is all correct or not, but you know, it's, it's supposed to be separate but equal, and that's anything but true and that was that was nothing but lies okay and so our families were sold this lie by by people that look like them i'm sure infiltrators informants you know that had black faces okay or you know or they were genuine black people came in with this false narrative about you know the, yeah the, you know that uh if we, you know, somehow if we come together, we'll be considered equal because we've already been considered equal because we were separated. You know, it's like, it's a play on words, okay? And then people were, had their signs out, you know, who they cater to, okay? So, and I'm not sure exactly what happened, but again, we... I know in our community we were we had all the uh the necessities to run a proper community. There was a grocery store there, library, schools, blah 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 blah. Okay? And I remember how so much tension, you know, uh it was during the seventies, middle seventies. There was a lot of tension going on because all of a sudden, um we had to get on buses, you know, and go to certain places. And, you know, so I just remember there was a lot of tension. I remember my mom had to go sign us up here, go sign us up there. It was just a lot going on. And then with everything else going on, uh, it, it just got crazy. But anyway, I don't want to go too far into that. I just want to acknowledge someone real quick while I'm thinking about them. And I want to say to them, I appreciate your courage I appreciate your honesty, and I appreciate, you know, this person's a cultural icon all over the world, you know? She's a cultural icon. She came on the planet. <laughs> she's probably one of my lost angels, right? Coming in onto the planet at, at the time she did. And she, uh, you know, she, she, you know she, 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 she exploded on the scene, you know? Um, and... Uh, I mean, gosh, you know, I mean, what she was able to do was, uh, it was amazing. And, um, and yeah, and she was young, like I said, young, young, young. And, you know, and still is. That That's what's amazing about it and, and appreciative of her. But I put out a video a while ago and I said, look, I understand black culture. I understand black culture. Okay. But 
I would be disrespectful to be to be, be, be to believe that I understand white culture any more than I understand Asian culture or Latino culture or that various uh, levels of because lack the Latino culture is you know it's like a mixture of different cultures in my opinion but you know I have Latin I have a Latino culture in my family and they're no different than black culture in my opinion okay uh I, and I say that for all Latinos Latinos are no different from black or African cultures okay now the but the European culture is is different from the black or the African culture, okay? And as well, the Asian culture. But I'm not here to be on this, you know, because we're so mixed up anyway now, unfortunately, too. And that's going to cause some problems, health problems for a lot of people in the future because of the mixture, okay? I'm just, just saying it. That because of the mixture, it's going to cause a lot of problems for certain for, for certain cultures of people where they're not going to be able to, like I said, withstand the sun. Their, their, their immune system is going to be constantly co compromised by drinking something that is simple as uh, lemonade. Okay. Or, or eating certain things that we ha have allowed ourselves to enjoy, such as seafood. And, you know, so a lot of things are going to be happening to a lot of immune systems of a lot of people. And not to mention all of us regardless of the culture, all of us, because we live on a planet, are going to be affected by the levels of CO2 in the air, okay, and and not be able to breathe, okay, that's going to happen to billions of us at some point because of the damage we've caused to the climate. Anyway, this person is a cultural icon, and I appreciate her honesty because she said, um, I think she took the challenge on herself. You know, she she was um, like I said, she's a cultural icon. And when when this person shows up, everybody was showing up. I mean, she this person has been out of the spotlight, so to speak, for a while, but she still has that she still has that uh, that influence on people. She has the influence because she's still young, but she's done she did so much, impactful things in in in, in such a short time. And she said. Um, you know, she um, was thought she understood things, and she realized she didn't. She didn't understand a goddamn thing. <laughs> she kind of, she kind of made it clear. Like, look, I'm running around, you know, talking about this and talking about that, and and just and bringing people together, being able to fundraise for people. You know, she's she's a cocoa. She's a cocoa. She's a cultural icon and I enjoyed her you know as I was growing up I enjoyed what this person was doing and the, the impacts this person was making you know with her creativity with her creativity this woman well I put it out I let it out but anyway this woman was creative to a fault you know she was creative she was fantastic I thought wow whoa whoa and then this person finally this person came forward and, and, and finally said, you know, she's, I think she took the time to kind of sit back and observe and watch what in the, what the fuck is really going on? You know, cause she used to, she used to put out this music about equality and this and that and the other. And, um, and you know, and she, you know, she would show up. This person would show up, put her name, you know, all she had to do is show up actually. And that, that was all it took, honey, for this person to show up um, and, 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 and it's over, you know? That's the impact she has. And that's the impact she was allowed to have over others that may have done the same thing equally that were, because this person is white, a white female, but no one would have been given the opportunity as she has had. And I think she has, she's acknowledging that, okay? She's acknowledging it, and that's courageous, okay? Because if she was, if she was not white, she knew that her, her, um, creativ her creativity range would be limited, just like what's happening on 
the social media, just like what's happening now on the social media platform, only certain faces are being pushed in, in front of the, uh, the, the eyes of the billions and billions of people. Only certain people are allowed to do that. Anyone else is um, suppressed, you know, with these algorithms, these uh, shadow bannings, all this technology. They're using all this technology to shield people, to, to, to shield the world to a, a culture of people. And they're usually black people. Let's be honest. Okay? Uh, and this has been going on for millennia. Suppress the black people. Separate them from everybody. Build um, a, a real, you know, roadways to su suppress them. Put concrete barriers up. Suppress them. Keep them on that, you know, you remember that on that side of the, you know, of the street, or on that side of the world, they're on their side of the community, blah, blah, blah. Block them in, block them in, you know. And so, okay, but the thing is, is that when this was, when as much as they were attempting to suppress the black people, the, the, to suppress the black human beings, the black human beings were able to adapt, okay, and flourish, actually, and take care of each other, feed each other. And when that was known, guess what would happen? The, you know, these fires and burning down communities and burning down houses, you know, these fires would take place. And I also said back in the, uh, on the video, there is no way in the world you're going to convince me that during any of these riots, quote unquote, that black people were burning down houses. Okay, who has a history of burning down houses and burning crosses in people's yards? Is it, was it black people? Pay attention to the patterns and behaviors and the actions and the behaviors of people that say otherwise and deny otherwise. Okay, that's why I say law enforcement has an issue, per se, dealing with human beings because they don't see, you know, I mean, look, look at the history before you get all, like I said, suspend your ego, suspend your beliefs, Black, I mean, law enforcement in general was not made to uh, to um, protect and serve black people, uh, Latinos, Asians. Law enforcement's responsibilities were to protect who? White people or white-skinned people. Because, you know, you have Italian, you have this, which have disappeared, by the way. Italian... No one talks about Italians anymore. Why not? But I knew there were some derogatory words towards Latinos because they had a certain uh, had a certain color to their to their skin. Okay. And this is and so the people that were making all these rules and you know doing all this damage were of European German descent. Okay, European German descent, and everybody wants to blame it on those of Jewish descent, which is anything but true. But that's that's too that's too polarized, and it's it's a dangerous, uh, combusting topic. People will get fired for talking about what I'm talking about, and the thing is, is that it's so unfortunate because. Those of you that are suppressing it, you know, you're suppressing yourself because a lot of other people are freaking things out. So I want to acknowledge this person. Uh, they know who they are. Um, you know, like I said, this person is a cultural icon. She, you know, she's courageous. And I, and I, and I, I will say that if anyone ever were to ask me, I would say, yes, this woman is fantastic. And to realize how young she is, you know. So I want to acknowledge her. You know, I heard what you said. I know what you're doing. And I sense and receive that your efforts are commendable. Because you took the chance. Not the chance. You know, no such thing as chance. You took the opportunity to sit down one day, I guess, and 
or you know, go 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 to a cafe <laughs> and acknowledge what's really going on around you, okay, and how much you really don't know about people of different cultures that you thought you knew. And the thing is, is what about this person? Which I, I also want to, you know, give, uh, give you my support i'm not sure the words you know sometimes you know and you know the words you know sometimes words are hard to to uh you know it's sometimes it's hard to put out the words of what you want to say to people without it becoming you know becoming something else oh my gosh she she said that she's this and then people get get carried away you know but i'm going to articulate as best i can you know as to how how much um uh, how much um respect i have for this person you know um you're a force. You're a force to be met with, honey. You're a force to be met with. and But you took the opportunity, apparently, one day while sitting at a cafe. Ha, ha, ha. Storytelling. Ha, ha, ha. I'm just making that up, but I don't know. And then you started. But, but what I do know is that you started observing things. And you started looking around and figuring out, okay, what's the company I'm keeping? Okay. And then you acknowledge how you were, how you became who you were. And it's because of the people that were in your circle that were not necessarily your family or your friends, okay? You, you acknowledge that your success was based on what they were able to provide for you. In other words, they, they're the ones that made you successful. The people that were in your circle is what I'm saying. You know, you had a large circle of people, you know, throwing out these creative ideas to you and you, and you absorbed it and you represented it. I thought in a, in a, in a, in a proper fashion and, and, it, and you did everything you could in your videos. Oh, boy. I'm just telling, telling everything. Let me just. <laughs> to, to present this uh, narrative, which you realized was a fantasy because it wasn't true. Yes, you can create anything in your videos and make the world seem like, like, that, like everybody's inclusive. Everybody's being treated equal. Everybody's being da-da-da-da-da-da, represented properly, blah, blah, blah. But then in your reality, you realize that was not true at all. Okay, we have to understand that some of us are living fantasies, living in our imagination, you know, able to put on a great show, you know, and that goes all, goes worldwide, has people to dance, you know, because at that moment, yes, you bring people together. A lot of, a lot of creative entertainers do. You bring it. You bring people together. Everybody's dancing. Everybody's happy. You know, and it, 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 you know the flow. Just like remember the '60s, the music in the '60s, Woodstock, all of those things. Yeah, they were bringing people together. We just had 420. You know, you know what people do on 420. You know that that kind of activities bring people together. But then once it's over, we all go back to our, you know, humble abode. You know, our humble whatever everybody's saying. You know, our humble living arrangements. You know, some people go back to living in their cars, while some go back to living in mansions in these high-priced housings. You know, the creative force behind this woman is what made who she was, who she is. The creative force behind her. And most of the creative force behind all of these icons are of black culture, of black creativity. Okay, and... Whether she, you know, I knew when she, I'm not speaking for her. I'm just telling you that I appreciate your effort and whatever you're doing. And you said something that was very powerful and it's true. She said, I love my whiteness. That's beautiful and powerful to say that. But, she said, I realized and understand. And these are, these are this is my interpretation. She loves her whiteness. So why can't black people love our blackness? Why can't Asian people love their their uh, their Asian heritage and the uh, the multicultural Latin Latinos, and more so than not, the the multicultural Latinos are the ones that usually represent everybody. Okay, I remember when I went to Jamaica, and there was a uh, you know they they have uh, a large portion of Asian, Indian, and black. And they, they were, I don't know what the standards and the situations are now, okay? Let's make that clear. 
And I remember also working with someone that was of Asian descent, but she grew up in Jamaica. And she sounded like a Jamaican, you know, she had that Jamaican act, you know, language or 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 the way she was structuring her her words and her sounds and tones. You know, if you heard her talking on the phone, you would thought she was you would not know that she's an Asian woman. You know, I really cared about her. I hope everything's going well with her. This is over over so many times. But yeah, she was from Jamaica of Asian descent. Um, and then, you know, I think she had a cultural shock, though, when she came into when her parents, some you know, because stuff started happening everywhere, all over the Caribbean islands for a reason. These Caribbean islands were invaded. OK, they were invaded. And they and they they and they and someone and, and all you have to do is find someone so desperate. Desperate for money, desperate for materialism, to infiltrate those kind of uh, situations and be of this, be be your brother, your mother, your sister, or your cousin. Okay, to infiltrate those environments and and cause a rift. That's what's happening. That that is what happened. That's why those cultural Caribbean cultures were uh, torn apart. Because um, who wanted their land? Think about it. Who wanted their land? Okay. What do you think? Who wanted the land of America? Or or as it was called America or changed to America? I don't know. Okay. Who had it? Who was taking care of Mother Earth before the Europeans? Okay. And, and then there, and, and, and because the Europeans of German descent believed that, you know, anything they touch belongs to them. You know, they, they felt that they had the right to come in because they were kicked out of Europe because of their behaviors and actions, by the way. And they felt like they can come into America and take what America, you know, take what, everything's theirs. It doesn't matter who it belongs to. That's why that intimate, intimate domain is criminal. That's criminal. Because anything, that, and, and, and black people are not doing this. I know that, Okay. Black Americans, black this or black that, uh, Africans, whatever we are calling ourselves, we're not doing that. We're not coming in and invading and taking. We're coming in to to live and, and, and be able to provide for our families just like everybody else. Okay. It, the Europeans thought they were going to, uh, they almost caused genocide towards the uh, Native Americans or or the, the Indian culture that was also part of the Black culture, Indian culture and black culture uh, uh, were able to coexist together, okay? So what I appreciate, and, and it's all uncovered, there's proof of it, you know, so something happened. <laughs> I think it has something to do with AI. A lot of people don't know what they're doing with AI, and I told you AI is going to uncover it all. It's going to uncover it all, so you might as well come forward and tell your story. It's going to be uncovered. A lot of a lot of stuff was hidden intentionally. Do not like uh, Bob Marley once said. Do not allow these people to grow. Do not allow these people to multiply. What does that mean? Okay. So I would question what happened to him. You can question it, but you don't need to. Just make it something to learn from, and make sure you know there's no such thing as coincidence. Nothing just happens by chance. Who's benefiting from this or that or the other? It wasn't black people. Okay, let's, let's make that clear and effective. They think we want something. Well, we deserve things. We help make things happen. And we help make this particular person I'm talking about a cultural icon. Almost on the, almost on the standards of um, Marilyn Monroe. Okay, and so when Marilyn Monroe was starting to wake up and figure out things, then something happened, right? Find, be, be logical and rational about things that happen. That's uh, that's being uncovered. AI is uncovering it for us because you know, in most cases, we have idiots in leadership, idiot, idiot behaving people in le- leadership that do not read a goddamn thing. Okay, they were given stuff, they were given titles. But they couldn't read a goddamn thing. Anyone can decorate their houses with books. 
Okay, but I know for a fact, based on an incident that happened, I, you know, I, I wish I had the date, but it happened last year. There was an incident that happened. And the incident that was happening should have been easily uh, detectable because these were so-called uh, experts, you know, and these were engineers and uh, scientists. And there was, there was a phenomenon going on. And these so-called expert, experts were uh, dismissing the basics of the, of, the, of the situation. In other words, they were not applying their knowledge that they had supposedly obtained. Okay, and it, it would have been a catastrophe if they had not um, went back to basis, put it that way. So there's a lot of things we don't know. A lot of things are getting uncovered. And I appreciate people coming, you know, coming out, so to speak, <laughs> and, and making it clear that, you know what, I have no idea what the hell is going on. But I would like to know, okay, because like I said, with this particular icon, this person said, I love my whiteness, and I'm glad she does. And so that means that she felt why black people love their blackness again, and why it's so important for white people to talk to other white people about their cultural situations and why they are responsible for the destruction of a, a lot of other cultures. She admitted that, that it wasn't uh, that black people are wanting anything more than they deserve. We just wanted to be treated equal and be represented as equal and realize that black people were not the problem at all. Okay, black people, what was happening is black people were feeling the effects consequences you know of what was happening to to the black culture so naturally there's going to be what self-preservation okay i want to live just as much and you know, be able to dance and do whatever and any, like i said anytime they would build a culture together like that and be together then guess who comes in and and destroys it and burn it all down okay anytime black people attempt to come together and to resolve our issues, it gets infiltrated. Okay, anytime black uh, entertainers or black uh, icons, whether male or female, uh, attempt to address certain issues, what happens? They get infiltrated. And guess who they usually get infiltrated by? And this is not being disrespectful, but by white women. White women are used to infiltrate, more specifically towards black men. That has been going on for decades upon decades upon decades. In other words, they're using white people, white women. And usually, like I said, they're European of German descent. But they could be European nonetheless of any, because like I said, so much mixture there. But that's where it started, you know, or a combination of such. You know, they got kicked out of Europe. So guess what? Let's go over here and invade this country, claim we discovered it, Claim we it belongs to us, and and then push every push the people that are out, out, taking care of this, this planet, this world, this country, and claim it belongs to them. So again, I appreciate uh, this, the openness and the courage of this particular icon, white female icon. Uh, she got it. She, she, she's, she got it. She had a revelation, it, it, as it appears to me, uh, to understand what was really going on. It's not about that, uh, and I think, and, you know, and th these are my words. Hey, these are my theories and opinions, but this is what I, this is what I um, picked up from that, is that, um, you know, you don't know, there's so many things that we don't know, and so many things we don't understand. And that's, my, that's, that's part of my mission is to help people to understand. And the more, and it starts with, within actually, if you can understand what's going on within you, then, you know, uh, one person can't do it though. I'm, I'm one of many that can do this 
we all have to do this together. Uh, unfortunately, the damage has been done, though, on the uh, climate level. You know, anybody keeps running around talking about climate crisis, okay, they, they're lying to you and they're, they're indoctrinating you so that you don't panic. Well, I, I suggest you not panic, but you need to know that there's it's destruction. Okay, the crisis is over. It's all construct, I mean, it's all destruction from now on. Okay, we're going to be in a state of, emer a state of uh, emergency forever. Okay, um, until Mother Nature, also known as Planet Earth, uh, can rejuvenate and uh, repair the damage caused by humans. So I just want to get up on this Tuesday and uh, say that, um, you know, it's about compassion and understanding, right? And knowing your place in all of that too, because like I said, it would be so disrespectful for me to say I understand white culture or I understand Asian culture or Latino culture. I know black culture. And that's where I focus. Of course, I want to understand about other cultures, but I'm repairing damage as best I can in the black culture. The black culture has been suppressed, has been abused, terrorized. I mean, you name it. Okay, but a lot of people do not understand also that black people are carriers on this planet. And until until white, I mean, until non-black people understand that, they will stop this madness ASAP because what they're doing is eliminating some of their cultures. You know, with the interference and and in the in back labs and back offices and 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 you know dealing you know uh, pretending to be this uh, a god. You know, you know how you know we give a lot of power to that word. Well, some people believe that they are God and that they can do whatever they want. They, they can make decisions, you know, you know, non-biological women, which are usually feminine straight males, believe that they're the ones that can determine what biological women are supposed to do because they see biological women as property. They see biological women as non-equal to them whether you were in high heels or cowboy boots. I'm talking about the feminine straight males. Okay? So, uh, to that person again, uh, I hope you you know, feel my universal love for you. I hope you feel, I know you do feel the energy of my love to you and what you're doing. You're so courageous. And I know you're going to be able to have an impact on young people as well. You know, um, and, and and talk to people, and 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 again, uh, you know, love who you are, love who you are within, understand who you are within. Once you do that, you will not have a problem with other people attempting to do the same thing. You know, it's about universal love and having compassion and understanding for people that are different from you. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and send peace and love right now. You trust me. I'll be back.